Hey, ito na naman ang ating pandesal bagong luto, mainit pa, kalalabas lang sa oven. Hi guys! So today, I'm going to make pandesal. Gawa tayo ng pandesal guys. But first thing, we have to activate our yeast. So I have a 158 ml of lukewarm water. And I'm going to put 1 half teaspoon of sugar. And add my yeast. This is 7 grams of yeast. So it's one sachet, so you can just pour it all in and stir it and leave it for 10 minutes to activate. And this is my one cup flour and I'm going to mix one half teaspoon of salt and just mix it. And I'm mix ko dito later yung activated yeast. So, my yeast has been activated and i-mix na natin siya dito sa ating dry flour and salt. So, i-mix lang natin ito guys and then I'll cover it with foil and leave it for one hour. And later on, after one hour, we'll add up more flour. So, medyo matagal din guys ang pagpapandesal. It takes time. Merong short way but I don't know how to do that. And this one, I already did this recipe before. So, I'm sticking to this one kasi uh, alam ko na siya. So, make sure lang na all your dry ingredients are wet. You can use your hand as well if you want to. But I prefer to use a spatula. I can still see dry patches, so I'm still mixing it. So it's ready to keep it for an hour. I'll be back after one hour. And dahil tamad akong mag -need manually, I will be using my mom's uh, mixing machine which is her Von Chef and she featured this as well on her channel. So if you want the link, I will put it in my description box. It looks like a very good quality mixing machine and I really love the color as well. It's a rose gold. So yeah, let's start to mix my pandesal ingredients. So, for the next step, guys, meron tayong lukewarm water na 158 ml. So, I transferred it here in my mixing bowl. And add my one egg. So, just beat it. So, just mix it, guys. So, I'm going to put this mixture here. And my one cup sugar. And this is my three cups of uh, multi purpose flour. Just add it bit by bit. And umpisahan ko lang siya na ganito guys and later ilalagay ko siya sa mixing machine. And this softened butter na 1 fourth cup. So, 
So, the more na nag tayo ng flour is uh, mahirap na siyang i-mix. That's why I want to use the mixing machine later para mas madali. You can also use your hand if you want to, as I said from the beginning. And I'll add the rest of the butter. And the rest of the flour. And I'm going to use my mixing machine. So, for the meantime, ilalagay ko lang siya sa number one. So, back to business. So, ayan guys. Ready na siya na i-transfer sa bowl. Make sure na na-wipe ninyo ng oil yung bowl. And also your dough. My dough is now ready. Ayan siya guys. And I'm going to cut it into pieces. So make sure na may flour dito sa surface. And I'm going to cut it in half. And make it long like this. And transfer it sa ating lagayan. Ganyan. Leave it there for 10 minutes. And then, after 10 minutes, we're going to cut it into pieces. Let's make sure that you cover it with cloth. So, yan. After 10 minutes. So, i-cut natin siya. And then, i-dip natin dito sa breadcrumbs. So, ito na siya guys. Na-cut ko na siya into small pieces. And we need to rise this again for another 10 minutes. So, I'm covering it with cloth again. And I already preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Ta-da! Ready na siya guys. Medyo napabrown lang siya. But that's perfectly fine. Tada! <laughs> Magkakaiba siya ng size but it doesn't matter kasi for home consumption lang, family consumption lang siya guys. And pang coffee lang namin and pang merienda. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Have a lovely day. Bye!